in the last episode. Going back to the main arc after Diego's betrayal, why Guy summoned Pike together with the Virtuoso to support him in the bot lane and Silas to hold the mid lane. After the first fiesta in the bottom lane, Jin noticed the chromosome stealer acting very strange warning Papa about it through spam pinging, but Silas being Papa's bisto friendo, he ignored the Virtuoso's warnings and muted him instead. But then, As Silas slowly steps out of the lobby, our protagonist saw a familiar looking ice cream wrapper inside Chromosome Stealer's back pocket, and upon checking the damage chart, Y Guy was devastated realizing that Jin was telling the truth. Or he's just toxic. Trying to bring it back in game too, Papa decided to wear his psyops suit allowing him to detect if there's an invisible threat nearby, going deep into enemy territory to assist Master Yi, our protagonist saved his jungler from getting assassinated by the invisible clown, a fight in the mid lane occurred with Papa sending evil Mordekaiser on the realm decorated in grey, waiting for the perfect opportunity to re-enter the fight castrating the castrated one, but Silas already stole Papa's precious chrome is sinking our protagonist using his own ultimate. But that only fanned the flame that's burning in Y Guy's heart as his jungle gets eliminated before the Baron fight. The enemy team completely forgot about the second jungler on Y Guy's team as the Lord of Wydra unleashes a game winning harpoon to steal the Baron that won them the game. Being below the age requirement gave Lulu an advantage on escaping Y Guy's menacing menopause, and to Papa's surprise, who would have thought that the Lord of Wydra would encounter the Ruined King this soon? After dying bot lane, Kha'Zix thought that soloing the dragon is the best play because Grandmaster thinks, but a mist covers the entire pit as Viego appears and is about to ruin the bug's play. I'm pretty sure that menacing menopause would have hit if Papa's playing on blue side. Such a misfortune indeed. Haha <laughs> classic comedy like and subscribe. With the use of a zoning hook, Y Guy bought enough time for his jungle to arrive, pursuing their enemies into their turret. Papa makes the first good guy Y Guy play by landing his harpoon at max range on the underage Yordle. With his menacing menopause completely ineffective against Lulu, Y Guy unleashes his first weapon of disorder that no underage girls can get away from, Psychotic Anxiety, crossing the enemy bot lane's names out of his list for a massive stomp, and a final zoning ultimate on Viego for another good guy play to finish the slaughter. Though they managed to eliminate the enemy bot lane again, I don't think giving misfortune two shutdown kills is a greater weight that's a markswoman, that's completely fine no need to worry about it. Oh boy, I know I said that giving two shutdown kills on a markswoman is fine, but giving her three question mark, I'm starting to feel the plot thickening little by little. Papa realizes this as well, so instead of going for an easy escape, our protagonist forces his adversary's summoner spells out of them as he grayscales into late game.
The feeling of uneasiness that's bugging Papa suddenly disappeared after the bug one-shotted Misfortune using four attacks. I guess it was fine all along. Viega vapes around the dragon pit once again, but it's a 5v5 this time with Y guy's top laner initiating the fight with a clean flank, trying to unleash his second weapon of disorder crippling depression to completely ruin the ruined king for all he's done. Popeye ends up cripplingly depressed as the move fails when he forced himself to use it with so little chromosomes left. Good thing Yone is there to assist our protagonist for the cleanup bringing their adversaries down to their knees. One more win. Please match making gods. I pray that you hear Papa's plea like how the monetization gods always hear our prayers for the providence of our daily bread dipped in warm water. Getting the first blood with that excellent invade granted our protagonist a massive chromosome boost giving him the early lead on his lane as Y guy manages to phase his harpoon through a minion for a good trade. What a very smart jungler by camping bot lane with our protagonist in a state where he can hit his hook even when he misses, completely establishing total dominance in the bottom lane. A couple of spam pings and keyboard banging from the lovebirds awakened the enemy jungler as he decided to come bot lane, although it was a 3v3, the enemy team's excellent display of coordination resulted into them emerging victorious in this fight. Well I don't think activating the Lord of Wydra's one death power spike is the right call for the enemy team though. I told you it's a bad idea to activate Y guy's one death power spike when he's in the zone, but you know what will be the worst move that the enemy team can do at Papa's current state. Activating his one death power spike for the second time. While playing as Pike, you know you've been blessed with good teammates when you miss your ultimate because of your team's unexpected damage, though it looks like Papa's just mistiming his ult without a gun that's definitely not pointed at my head, the matchmaking gods have heard why guys plea.
here we go again, before we end this episode, just a reminder to those who've already read the manga, yes I'm talking to you guys who follow Why Guys Twitter, kindly avoid spoiling the outcome to the anime watchers, and no this is not a scheme to make you follow Why Guy on Twitter. But is it working though? 